boys and girls, and welcome to Kids Camp Creation Crafts. We're so excited you're here joining us today. We're your hosts. I'm Miss Susie. And I'm Mr. Ryan, and I'm so glad that you've joined us. We're going to make a fun craft today, and we have some of our blue buddies here to help us. Welcome, campers. You guys glad to be here? Yeah! All right. Now, you can tell this is a rowdy bunch, so we have a few referees to come help us. Ladies, could you come on out? Oh, we're so glad to have extra help. And sometimes you need a little extra help when you're making crafts. So today we're going to give some instructions on how to make something pretty neat. I think you guys are going to like this. And Miss Susie, what are we going to make today? We are going to be making ceramic tile art. Isn't it pretty? That's awesome. So it's very colorful. We're going to have some fun. But here on Creation Crafts, we actually like to tie a craft with scripture. And today our scripture is found in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. And these are words from Jesus as he's leaving the earth. He's leaving his disciples and he wanted to give them a command and a promise and something to do. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel everywhere and to everyone. Spread it out and let everyone know what the good news is. I may have added a few words in there, but that's the idea that Jesus had. And so you guys, we're going to learn on how to spread some things out here today. And we hope your craft will remind you about the gospel to spread it out. Miss Susie, are you ready to give us some directions? I'm ready. Kids, are we ready to start crafting? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. All right. Okay, our first step Let's is... Let's listen. We want to protect our work surface. So we've placed down some aluminum foil. And on top of that, we've placed a paper towel. On that, we have a ceramic tile. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to color our tile and we wanna make sure we get it all covered with our markers. We're not gonna be drawing any designs today or any pictures. We just wanna give it a good coating of marker all over. We wanna make sure and cover it as much as we can. Miss Susie, this is right up my artistic experience. You need to scribble, and I am good at scribbling. So that looks like we have some good scribblers here. You guys are working on a ceramic tile. Where do you find ceramic tiles, boys and girls? Where do you find these things? Does anybody know? At a hardware store. At a hardware <laughs> store. Very good. You, anywhere else, Gavin? Like Hobby Lobby or something? Hobby Lobby, maybe, but more like... Home Depot or Lowe's, these kind of places. We just went right in there and found some ceramic tiles. Now, where do they get used? Does anybody know where, where, where people use these things? Does anybody know? Back to Gavin. Like a bathroom or something? Ah, very good, a bathroom. Do you have another up here? Can we get a microphone up front? Oh, excellent. A ki um, kitchens? Yeah, a lot of times we, they get used in kitchens. They help protect the surface. Go ahead and scribble and fill it in some more yeah, in there. Yeah, fill it all the way in. We want to get, get it, it nice and dark and fill it in. We want to get it as much covered as possible yeah. so there's little, little white showing. Make little swatches of areas. Yeah, good I job. Look. That's great. You can leave it down. And so remember, boys it. and girls, you can always go to our website, 3 abnkidscamp.tv for all the instructions and the supplies. I think it really helps to make big sections of color. Oh, I see some nice sections of color back here. Keep going. Are you waiting for a certain color? Try a different color. How about green? No? What's your favorite color? Who has a favorite color they want to share with us? I think washable. Oh, just uh, let's go down the line here real quick. Green. Oh, you like green. Green. Sure. Green. We got more green people. How about over here? Blue. Blue. What do you like, Amanda? Pink and blue, I guess. Pink and blue. Jackson, here we go. Talk into the microphone here. Um, green. Well, we got a lot of green people here. And blue. Dark blue? Dark blue? Not just blue, huh? Dark, Dark blue. Dark All right, blue. I'm with you in there. Love blue. That's one of my favorite colors as well. But here you get to play with all the colors and get it right in there and fill it up. Lots of colors. Miss Susie, what are we going to do next? All right. We've got just a little bit more color to put on. How okay. are we doing, kids, with our color? Are we getting it fully colored? What kind of markers are these, kids? Can you tell? Sharpies. These are, actually, they're permanent. Sorry, Jackson. <laughs> they are permanent markers. <laughs> so a little markers. scrubby, that will come right off yeah. in a few days. We've got some wipes for them, too, at the end, so yeah. we can always wipe that off. 
So we're using Sharpies. They help get some nice bright colors. Uh, and we're going to do something fun to actually mix and spread the colors around. It's going to be great. All right, you guys are getting some nice colors. Oh, I get some of those white areas and fill them in. There you go. Oh, that's looking good, you guys. All right, we've got some really pretty tiles, I see. Nice. Wow, see, this is something that you can do for a variety of ages because you just got a scribble in yep. there. You just and scribble. And we're going to make something very pretty that you can put up. That's right. All right, we're going to oh, move on it. to our next step, and that is we have some rubbing alcohol. Now it does come in some different percentages like 70%, 91%. This one is 91%. That one seems to work the best. So what we're gonna do is take our dropper and we're gonna get a drop and we're just gonna start slowly dropping it all over our tile. Now the alcohol will actually make that spread out and it will blend the colors. But Mr. Ryan, I think we need a dropper test first. Yeah, that's all right. The I would like to put you all through dropper training. I want you to be able to use your dropper, but let's not put any drops yet onto the plate. Jackson, can you please wait and follow directions? See, when I teach chemistry, it's very important that people know how to use droppers and can follow directions. So I want to come around and uh, see if you can pull up some of that rubbing alcohol and give me three drops. And if you do, I may let you pass. If you don't, you may get a red flag here. And so I want three drops right back into the cup, right back into the cup. Jackson, can you do that? Can you get some? You gotta squeeze it at the top and watch some of the liquid comes up. Okay, let go, squeeze, let it go. Now see if you can give me three drops back in the cup. Okay, one, oh, you got two. I'm gonna give you a yellow. All right, can you get some in there? Keep practicing, okay, but put it right back in your cup. Can you give me three drops? One, two, three. Oh, she gets the green flag. Very All right, good. let's go around. Okay, everybody try to get some in your dropper and I'm gonna come around real quick. Can you give me a couple drops? Hey, I did it. One, two, oh, okay, do, do a slow drop. Can you give me a slow drop? I don't know what she's gonna, oh, very good. She gets a green. Can you give me three drops? One, two, three, very good. All right, Can you give me job. three drops? One, two, three, good, three good drops. Job. Can green you give flag. me three drops back in your cup? One, two, three, good job, Great. you passed. Okay. I want three drops here, we're gonna go right down the line. One, two, three, very good control, good you passed. Okay. Can you do this? One, two, three, good job, you passed. <laughs> oh, I see everybody's getting ready. One, two, three, good job, you passed. <laughs> Cadence, are you ready? Amanda, Let's are you see, getting ready? You can start filling it? up. Okay, squeeze it. And hold the squeeze and put it in, release. Oh, great job. All right, now slowly give me a couple drops right back into the cup. Ready? One, two, three. Good job, you pass. You're almost done with dropper training. Oh, you have it nice and full. One, two, what's it gonna be? Ah, oh, she passes as well. All right, you guys, you now right. know how to use your droppers. Do those nice, simple drops right on your ceramic tile. That's right, okay? we're gonna start Don't dropping. Don't spray it all over. We just want simple drops on different parts of your tile, okay? Do it drop at a time all over your tile. Okay, drop in different spots. And this will not, help not on the spread spot. the marker spots. out. Over here, over there. And you'll get some fun patterns. Great. You guys are doing good. Isn't using droppers fun? What? You guys like using the droppers? Do you guys see what's happening Man, when you put the um, rubbing alcohol on? I want to be a scientist. Oh, awesome. You got, are the colors starting to spread out? That's right, they are, Mr. Wow. Ryan. Wow, I've got to, I got to, I got to ask you guys something. What is the, uh, what is the similarities between peanut butter and the gospel? Does anybody know? Can you guys know? Can you tell me what's, what's the same between peanut butter and the gospel? Nobody knows this? Oh, they're much better when you spread them out. <laughs> That's a good one, Mr. Oh, Ryan. I love your you guys, joke. that was a dad joke right there. And you can only use dad jokes when you're all grown up. A lot of groans there. No? All right. Let's keep making crafts here. And I'll be thinking of some more jokes. Well, just like this alcohol is spreading out our ink, we want to make sure that we spread the gospel as well to our friends and neighbors. Right. 
The good news. All right, you guys are getting ready. Yep, keep coloring. Hey, are we getting all our drops on there wow, yet? Wow, I see some great patterns over here, oh, Gavin sure. and Christopher. Wow. There you go. I, I wonder if we're getting ready for the next step over yes, here. You guys are doing so. great. All right. Oh, Jackson, I think we knew that you might use too much, so we just gave you what you needed. Do we need some more down there? I do have oh, a little bit more. Oh, I think he's more. got enough. He, okay. It's well coated. Okay, that All sounds right. great. Okay, the next step is we want to let this dry, and it may take, uh, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. The rubbing alcohol will evaporate off. But I do have a way to actually make this go faster because at the end, we do need to put a top coat on it. But before we do that, we have to let it dry. So we have a fast way of doing this. Now, this does need some caution because it will be using a flame. So we wanna make sure that parents do this for their kids and you wanna make sure you do it in an area that has enough space so that you don't burn anything. And we want to practice safety here. So we do have our ref, Jessica, with our fire extinguisher just what? in case we need it. I think we'll be okay. The other thing is <laughs> I do also have <laughs> a wet rag just in case we want to here, I'll hold Jimmy or get your assistant to hold oh, the wet sure. rag that to get would ready be great. to throw it. Crystal, would you mind holding that? Did you guys know that if we need rubbing it, I'll alcohol let you know. is flammable? Does anybody know what flammable means? Can you raise yeah. your hand? Someone else? Here, down here. Let's come down here. What is flammable? It's very easy to catch on fire. Yeah, that's right. So when you're working with rubbing alcohol, boys and girls, you need to not have things that are hot. What is it something that could catch it on fire? Is there anything like matches, lighters, smoking, flints with sparks? We don't want any of that stuff around when we're working. Jackson, what do you got there, buddy? You got a question? Okay. If you have a fire pit, it maybe could catch something on fire, Oh, that's right. Too. Very good, Jackson. Don't use this near a fire pit. Okay, Miss Susie. We definitely need to make sure that do? we do practice safety for this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just carefully remove this off of the paper towel, just because I, I don't wanna light the this. paper towel on fire amazing. either. So I'm gonna set this back down, just like that. And, all right, I'm gonna ask my helpers here just to take a little step back, and I'm gonna remove the rest of my rubbing alcohol. And then we are going to let light this on fire. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Wow, what do you think, boys and girls? She's now what, on fire. Now what's happening Whoa. is the alcohol <laughs> is on fire and the fire is gonna help dry it out and evaporate off the alcohol. Should just be a few more seconds. So we're using science to speed up this craft. This That's is awesome. Right. This is like being on fire. Woo! And just like that, it is going out. Wow. Now the last step you want to do is we're going to put on a top coat, some glaze to protect it because if you get water on it, um, it may ruin our design. But that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for joining us at Creation Crafts, where scripture inspires creativity. Bye, boys and girls. All right. Whoa, is that fire amazing or what?